10 Yetis, 10 Super Archers, 3 Stars, just about any Town Hall 13 base, that's what I'm told. So, hey, let's give that a crack in village raiding then. If it's going to work in a war, surely it would work in village raiding, and seeing as we don't pay for it anymore, except the Super Archers, of course, which is like, hey, I don't know, but, you know, 10 Yetis, 10 Witches. But let's see, what's more powerful, the Super Archers? You know what? I kind of think it is. I think the Super Archers are a little bit more powerful. The Witches have their place, but I think the Super Archers are working an absolute treat. So we have in this one, obviously, massive loot, 1 million loot raids, which is just how, how it works. Seem to do a lot of them on this particular account. But there's two of them, two of these attacks, just to show how powerful the strategy is. One has all the heroes up, as you can see. The Royal Champ is not maxed, and all the spells are used. 30% of the base still to go, but the base will fall. And I've got loads left. If you consider the Yetis, uh, 18 troop space and the super archers are 12 troop space. I've got a super archer on the left hand side shooting that dark elixir. I've got a couple down the bottom. I've got a bunch of yetis and I've got uh, super archers shooting that spell factory as well. So as far as troop space goes, I actually have a lot left considering I only brought 10 in of each. So that's the first one. Million loot raids. Yeah, we love the million loot raids. Now, the troop combo can three star just about any town hall 13. It all depends on your deployment, obviously, in some way, shape, or form. I'm just doing dropping a line, dropping a line. But I have had a play with dropping a couple of yetis, like you see here. A couple yetis, a couple archers. A couple yetis, a couple archers. Let them create that little bit of an outside funnel, then go six and six. Happy days, everyone pummel into the base. Now, in this case, I don't have the Royal Champ with me. So I've just created that nice little funnel to make sure everybody goes into the base. Drop the first raid spell somewhere near the base opening. Come on, raid spell. There we go. And obviously things path out of that raid spell pretty damn quick. So it ends up looking like, well, that raid spell was kind of useless. That happens to me a lot. But hey, I'm doing pretty well with this attack, to be honest with you. And this is, again, another million loot raid. So here was me able to do a million loot raid, but with a hero down. Now, there goes the second raid spell. I just figured that so I could see those yetis and things coming in that area. And I figured I had the queen's ability still up the sleeve. So, yeah, I'll put the raid spell over on that side where all the yetis are and the king and just use the queen's ability to try and take out that corner of the base. Now, in this case, as you can see, my archers on the right-hand side petered out, but I've still got four to five, possibly six archers on that left-hand side. It's really hard to say because they're kind of standing together, but let's just call them four. And I've got a bunch of yetis still. Now, that was kind of a, like a little bit frustrating. The yetis couldn't get through the wall to where that queen was standing in that little open compartment. But the way I looked at it, I had the warden, I had the king's ability still up the sleeve, Plus, I had those super archers still to come, and I thought, yeah, this is a three-star every day of the week, even though I've only got a few things left. And this is pretty well what happens every time I raid with this. So the idea that 10 Yetis and 10 super archers can three-star just about every town or 13 base, I would say I concur. I've hit bases where CCs have come out, and I just drop a freeze on them. I don't even bother with the poison. I just drop a freeze on them, so I get frozen whatever plus frozen troops and then the super archers and potentially rage queen uh, or raged royal champ it takes them out in any case that's all i've got for this video if you have any questions or comments about it do please leave them down below and as always thanks for watching